So after a long hiatus, mm. we're back in Anne Orlando. Yay. Still wearing some pretty heavy armor. Got that dragon head. Yeah. And this area kind of requires a lot of armor. Yeah. Outside of maybe one other area, this is the most dickest place. <laughs> is that even a phrase? That is now. All right, then. And great. What a welcoming party. Eh, yeah, it's our friends. The thing I hate most about these guys is they just don't stay still. Yeah, ADD will do that to you. There, not too bad. Too easy. And I got a weapon I don't need. <laughs> so we can't go this way, because... Well, he just kind of stops. No, you could jump. I, d I don't think I could. Can't or won't? Can't. Oh. Definitely can't. Okay. So the first sneaky part about this area is you actually need to uh, come up one of these buttresses. <laughs> and the only way you really know that is this broken window all the way up here. That you can't really see. Pretty much. But I'm going slowly there because every time I run up that, the camera freaks out whenever you go under one of those things. And it is not fun. It's actually kind of scary. <laughs> so these guys like to dance around a lot. And then throw knives. And then die. The dying part I like. Mm -hmm. That's the good part. That's, that's the good one. Except that, uh, now we have to cross this, uh, really, really narrow scaffolding. Mm -hmm. Rafters, what do you want to call it? Precarious perch. Yeah, so we're going to switch to pyromancy here, <laughs> just because me swinging around that weapon, not too good. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Guess I'm not getting that. That's a shame. Bye bye you can see there's something on that chandelier and you can actually knock it down all right don't quite remember if I get it but it doesn't the chandelier doesn't respawn so it's down there permanently well, that's good now these guys sometimes you can bait them into coming really close but I've had instances where like for five minutes they do nothing but throw knives from a distance they probably should have stuck to that game. Well, <laughs> that just shows how hard they hit, and I've got some pretty good armor on. And I don't know how he avoided that. Magic. Yeah, this is, no matter what, like whenever I play this game, I hate that little section, because it's so easy to fall off. Yeah. I kind of risked it there. That's, that's pretty dangerous. Now, actually going down this section is pointless. There is nothing down here. I'm not even sure why. Looks pretty. This isn't pretty. It's It's got nice buttresses. We're on the inside. Shh. But this area is clear, and thank God. Time to leave. So I guess I'd say the uh, the gimmick to this whole area is surprise, as there is there's an endless number of surprises. And wow, another gargoyle. Round two. This guy, though, he's sometimes really stupid, and he'll 
fall down the stairs. And then I gotta go get him. Kind of like that. Oh. Now I gotta go get him. That's not very nice. And he thinks I'm down there. Well. Oh, uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> That's more like it. That's one way to do it. More things that I don't need. But you could look like them. You only get a shield, a halberd, and a helmet. That's it. That's true. You don't, you don't get, like, cool armor with wings on the back. That would be pretty good. With your dragon face. Except that it would probably all give me poison damage at first, like the halberd does. True. Then you gotta wait forever for that to come down. <laughs> Hello, friends. So what you want to do here is just pull one of these guys at a time down onto these stairs, but they don't want to come down onto the stairs. Like, if you bring them even just this far, they'll try to retreat back. And I don't want his friend coming along. Could you imagine being that big and falling down the stairs? Could you get back up if you fell over? Uh, I'd be pretty embarrassed. What if a little guy in a dragon head came up and uh, killed you both? That's even more embarrassed. And another item that is kind of useless compared to my sword. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we need a... Well, we don't need a key, because it's a contraption. That's weird. And this door is just for show. Oh. You can never come out of that door. Or go in. So all these guys, I think, are known as are just demons. Because you can actually get the weapon as a drop and it's just called the demon spear hmm. so it's a pretty creative name Yeah. but for some reason their spears have lightning damage and that is incredibly annoying so I just kinda wanna bait one of these guys at a time and oh okay well alright then well he's gone and just in case you're low on health and you don't really feel like dealing with this guy, you can actually just switch over to a crossbow and have a little bit of fun. Goodbye. Love that. And then we just switch on back because that crossbow is not going to help us in this upcoming area. Really, the best way to do this is to just sprint on past these two enemies, but they will then try to shoot you in the back, very literally. <laughs> so I kind of want to just bait them over, and they'll do something kind of special if that other one will get over here. Now, he's, he's throwing lightning javelins. Now, I'm trying to get closer, so he'll come after me. There we go. Ah. Uh. So if we just give it a little bit of time, just come on. Uh, there we go. Nice. And then you can just deal with one of them very easily. They also have really low poise, so you just have to hit them once, and it kind of stuns them. But you have to hit them. Yeah, you have to hit them. <laughs> a problem I kind of have. Obviously. So these uh, Silver Knight archers are infamous for knocking people off of these ledges. And I sort of see why. They're packing Dragon Slayer bows, which will knock anyone, like, way back. Pretty dangerous. All you gotta do is run. Yeah. That's it. Til till they hit you. Kinda like that. <laughs> Kinda like that. I'm really surprised I stayed on for that. So if you get close enough, they'll switch out to a sword, and then they're really easy. Fun times begin. First guy's a little hard because the camera doesn't let you see anything. Yeah, that game likes to do that. 
He's already got his sword out. He was ready for you. Oh. And for some reason I didn't... Okay, there we go. Not sure why that happens. It really only happens to me on these bosses, but... They're not <laughs> bosses. They feel like bosses. Yeah. I'm sure to some players they are. Mm, probably. So that is really the hardest part of An Orlando, just getting to this area. Because once you get up here, you're good to go. Yeah. We've actually got a bonfire coming up. Right inside. Safety. Not just safety, we have a couple friends here too. That's true. You just gotta make sure you know where the bonfire is. You don't want to die to anyone in here and have to redo all of that. No, no. Don't go in the wrong door. Hey, look, it's our buddy! Solaire! There you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning, I bet. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You oh, but no, we don't impression. actually need your help. Solaire? Aw. But he's so special. Yeah, he's special, really but we gotta do this all on our own. If I, I guess so. I, think you have I haven't summoned him yet, I'm not going to start now. <laughs> and he's only summonable for... two more fights? Yeah. I think. At least two. One of them he's... he's entirely useless in, <laughs> and will die pretty quickly. But does he ever find his son? I guess we'll have to find out. All right. So I want to kindle this bonfire so it gives more Estus flasks as I sit at it, but I can't get more than 10 right now until I have another item, but that won't be for quite a while. For now, we're just going to explore this cathedral, maybe? Stab a few people in the dick, because they are much taller. Yes. And if I were playing online, that item would mean something to me. That's a covenant item for something that Solaire has to do with. But without being online, it kind of is useless. Definitely is useless. So there are three kinds of Silver Knights. We've just got a regular one with the sword, that one with the giant spear, and then the archers that we dealt with. And the archers also have swords, so it's kind of like dealing with just two enemies. Yeah. And they're they're pretty easy to parry, I like it. Yeah. But this secret area has a pretty good secret. And also some complete garbage, but also a good secret. Yeah. Uh check the chain. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Tricky tricky. I don't like that it's really dark down here, so it's really hard to see where all these pillars are. Makes it spooky. But this is the garbage. It's just an occult club. <laughs> occult, I think, is rumored to be better on the later bosses in the game, but they, it's kind of such a weak weapon that I never use it. I've never seen it. And there is an ember for occult weapons, but... Yeah. You kind of have to know where to look. It's not really that easy to find. But we keep getting all this stuff for Havel. A lot of stuff. It's sort of considered the best armor of the game because of its really, really good poise, but it is very heavy. Super heavy. But then stone armor will be that way. Oh no, there is actual stone armor. So, it's just as heavy. <laughs> Maybe more, I don't know. It's good for a certain boss, but not based on the strategy that I use. Right. Look at all those dragon heads. That's pretty good. I think that's where all the dragons went. I don't know. Well, hello. Goodbye. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, most of them are. 
maybe not your first time through, definitely timing that spear swing is very difficult the first time, and I still get it wrong a lot. <laughs> but when they go for the stab, ah, that's that's baby cakes easy. Baby cakes. Check the chain. Oh, another one. And Orlando probably has the most mimics by far. He's still got a couple more, actually. And we have gold coin, which is useless unless you sell it for souls. That's not so useless. Gotta check the chain. Oh, ho, ho. they're just trying to get you. And that's what the powered up strike looks like. Really, the only opportunity you'll get to use it because it is such a long wind up. So risky. But one drops gold and the other drops silver. A lot of silver. I think the gold and silver are both worth the same, even though you get more silver. Hmm. That's kind of a dumb door. It doesn't open from one side. <laughs> How, I mean, how can that not look like I'm just getting him right in the groin? It's true. I'm not a very honorable dragon. <laughs> no. So it's never entirely explained who all of this furniture belongs to. And it'll kind of be even more mysterious when we see, like, the only person that lives here. Yeah. Because there is no way that this person would be able to use anything. Definitely not. But now we're on one of the roofs of the cathedral. We're getting closer, but there's still a ton of enemies in the way. Just dodging those arrows. Yeah, even if you've got a good shield, I think it knocks you back regardless. So it's much quicker to just roll through them. And sometimes, just for fun, even if I'm farming for souls, I'll just go through without a shield and see how many times I can parry. Yeah. I've died a couple times thanks to that, but... We have another friend! Yay! Onion head! Onion body. <laughs> Onion everything. Ah, you here. Let me guess. Were you repelled by the Silver Knight? No, I've actually been doing pretty well against them. This is the first time I've been here. We can overcome this together. Now you say together, but I don't think this you mean it. <laughs> we'll need another three snows, maybe five bodies. Hmm, quite a fix indeed. So basically, there's a bunch of silver knights in this room, and he can't deal with it. So we need five friends, apparently. Yeah. I can't see. Okay. You kind of have to guess at what they're doing because the camera does not help a lot of the time. That's the real difficulty of this game. And also, good luck if you pull both of these guys, because, wow, one of them is easy, but two are kind of dickish. That can be a pain. And we got his sword. All right. Whose name is so long it needs to be abbreviated twice. <laughs> I have no idea what that's a picture of. I think it's Sen's Fortress. It's crooked, though. Oh, look. That is a giant, and we haven't seen one of them yet. No. We've seen something, like, close, but not actually one of them. I am not entirely sure what that painting is. Kind of looked like New Londo. I'm not entirely sure what that painting is, either. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, what's on your mind, friend? Yeah, you're welcome. You defeated those monsters. Yeah, you're welcome. Fantastic. I'm saved. <laughs> this knight of Catalina hereby commends you. Take this as a token. At least we got a present. I like getting presents from him. And it's not too bad of a present. It's actually a ring that increases your health. A tiny bit. <laughs> but as soon as you take it off, it goes away, so. 
Why didn't you let him think? You could have just let him think. Okay, he's got nothing to say. I guess he's just gonna stay there. Yeah, for now. Forever. He's a man with a plan. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Three people stopped him from doing anything. You didn't give him enough time to think. So we're back in the dragon head room. A lot more dragon heads. And oh, hello. Hi. Normally he does not do that move up here, and it is kind of hard for me to gauge the parry response, whatever, when he does like a swing. But this guy was guarding stuff that we can use to look like them. Ooh, fun stuff. It's actually not too bad armor, but it is way too heavy. I have almost no carry weight limit. Yeah. So we'll just hold off on that for technically ever. <laughs> but that door that we opened is actually a major shortcut through this whole area, so now we don't have to deal with that. And there is something waiting for us in that room that I don't feel like dealing with yet. Very heavy breather. You can't see it, but we have uh, two surprises down there. <laughs> More surprises. So this is actually a pretty big area, and it's not, it's not too crowded with enemies, which is kind of disappointing. Yeah. But I mean, all they really have in this area, at least, are the Silver Knights. So the variety isn't too good either. True. They got the demon things. Yeah, but that's outside. And I know that sound. All right. He's huge. He's making a very tiny sword too. Well, comparatively. Yeah. Everybody's got hobbies. We'll just repair our equipment, which doesn't really need it. But what's special about this guy is actually the types of repair and reinforcement stuff that he sells. He's actually really, really good. He sells large Titanite shards for really cheap. He can make our stuff into lightning stuff, which is pretty nice. Lightning stuff is fun. And he can even make the boss weapons. Nice. So all we need is usually a weapon that's like plus 10, maybe just plus 5, and then the appropriate boss soul. So look at all this good stuff he sells, even though it's really expensive. Yeah. And he doesn't really have any other stuff that's good. I mean, the giant armor is okay, but I don't know. I don't think it's that great. Aw. Yeah, he's basically the last giant. He's lonely. And I don't know if you can see that, but there is a treasure chest back behind his anvil that I cannot get to. Oh. So that'll have to remain closed for now. <laughs> yeah, more demons. They're fun. They're not fun. No, they're not fun. The amount that they jump around and the damage they can do sometimes is a little ridiculous. Yeah. Especially when they get you locked in attacks. We can actually go back out front now and deal with those giants again, but I don't know why the hell you'd want to. For fun. This is a pretty nice view of where we came from. Don't get fancy, you'll get your turn. I don't think he's going to jump off this time. Aww. And I am so slow that every time they jump back, I, I will miss. Which sucks. But he's standing in like the worst spot, because if I go too far forward, I will get that other guy's attention. That wouldn't be fun. 
No. Two enemies with lightning weapons that are pretty strong, they're not fun. And super fast. So we're going to try this strategy again, see if it works. I don't think that was the right button. <laughs> oh, bye! Titanite chunks are used to make a lot of weapons go past plus 10, but it's also used in uh, upgrading lightning weapons. So if you want to absolutely wreck half of this game, just get like one good lightning weapon. It does, it does help. So we're actually almost completely done with Anne Orlando, aside from the boss fight that, well, that's not going to be this video. <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, but it's so fun. It gets fun the more and more you play it, but oh man. The first time I played this game, the boss of this area is such a pain. So bad. And actually, I can see Solaire's summon sign down there, so it's actually three boss fights. I completely forgot about this one. Don't need his help. Oh, jeez. Oh, hello. So those are the actual giants. They are much bigger than the ones we fought out front. And both of them are chasing me. Now the other one's walking backwards. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye on you. Now the really fun thing about these guys is unlike their friends out front, they actually have an area attack that's magic, right like this. And they also have a healing move. If you get them down to, I think it's about a fourth of their health, sometimes they'll jump back, flip their shield up, and heal. At which point you have to go all the way around them to get them. Yeah. And most of the time, when they jump back, they make themselves into a corner. And that is just the worst. It, it really is. It's awful. But here is maybe the best shortcut. If you wanted to go back to another area right now, you couldn't really unless you went through the blacksmith shortcut. But this one actually opens up the front door. Straight across. So this giant is the only thing standing in between us and our boss fight. At least you can take him down, right? No, I better. And the thing with these guys is they also drop uh, their shields and their halberds, but if you have uh, like the gold serpent ring, you can get a good rate of uh, titanite chunks. I know I've done a significant amount of farming in this area. How many times did you end up dead? Uh, a few. Hundred. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> these guys aren't too bad, it's just that if they do two attacks like that, they will just deplete your stamina. That and they really like to jump back into walls. Well, that was weird. So I really need to switch out of this armor at some point. It is not helping. Nope, too slow. But that takes care of that. Just one one pretty tough boss fight coming up. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one. For sure.